how to install TeamViewer on Pop OS Linux 22.04. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so how to install TeamViewer on Pop, okay? So let's, uh, first things first, let's take a look at the, what, now we're not going to do it from the, you know, the, the package managers and the, or from source. I always like to just either download a, a tar or a deb file from their, from their page. Or, or the terminal. To me, the terminal is more Linuxy, so we'll just do it that way. But you can see here's their home page, TeamViewer.com, English USA. Scroll down, get some information, download. Okay, so this this is their website. You can come here and, and, and download whatever packages they have hosted here. Or we'll do it my way, which is the Linuxy way. I go to the terminal. And I don't already have TeamViewer installed, so we're good there. We're going to use the wget command line utility to download the dev file. And if you don't have it, then you'll be prompted, once you key it in, you'll be prompted, probably would be sudo apt install wget. So we've got it installed, good to go. Okay. Uh, so quick little background. You know, TeamViewer, it's an application that is used to operate computers remotely, so you can remote from your local computer to a remote computer and see the desktop and control it. Remote desktop. And once you get there you can do all the usual computing needs that you would have to do as if you were sitting in front of the computer locally. Uh, it's been around for since 20, 000, 2005 and they've got uh, you know uh, versions for Mac, Windows and Linux. Okay, so yeah, it connects two people together and it, it's pretty lightweight, it doesn't take a lot of resources, but you have to have a, a TeamViewer account, so I would suggest you go ahead and create that. I've got one. I'm going to have to remember what it was when I, when I log in, but I do have a TeamViewer account. So you're going to have to create a free, a free account. And just uh, real quick, some of the features of TeamViewer are screen sharing, not just sharing, but actual remote desktop access. Where you don't just see the screen, but you actually can, you know, do stuff. You can click around and manage files and delete and add things and whatnot. And uh, wow, over uh, I don't know if you know this, but over uh, two billion people, two billion devices have TeamViewer installed. It's a pretty big, it's a pretty big remote desktop program. You know, over the internet. Um, I don't. I, you don't really have to configure since it's over the internet, but you don't have to configure external IP address to the internal you don't have to worry about WAN to LAN you don't have to worry about public to private and port forwarding it that's all kind of done for you which is kind of nice so it's not very technical you don't have to do any kind of port forwarding to get it to work especially if it's you know if, if the remote and the, the local and the remote uh, host are on different networks whether it's on a different network inside your you know, in a certain location, or if it's just, you know, miles apart, you don't have to worry about port forwarding. It takes care of that for you. Okay, so, so, yeah, we're going to learn about the installation procedure of TeamViewer on Pop, you know, and Pop's a pretty popular Ubuntu-based distro these days. Okay, so, it's it's recommended to update the repo of pop by, by using the following command. Okay, so let, we're in the terminal here. Here's our, here's our pop right here. Everything down here. Okay, so run a standard, run your standard uh, sudo update and upgrade command first. I've already done it, so I should be all, I should be all caught up. This should be the first step when you do anything, really. Yeah. This is pretty standard procedure here to always run apt update and uh, upgrade in your system before you do stuff before you do that this kind of thing. Okay, so we'll clear that. So we've updated, upgraded, checked for uh, you know upgrades, nothing. So yeah, once everything's up to date, which that's that's where we're at. The Team Viewer package is not available by default in in the pop repos. So you can't use APT, and I, I, I didn't really, probably you can't find it in PopShop either, I guess, if it's not in the APT repos. So, 
Anyway, we're going to just use the command line. That's the that's my Linuxy way of doing it. Okay, so we're going to download the, the dev file from the official website to the pop you know, to the pop OS download folder by using the following command. Okay, let me key that in. Okay, so here's the here's the command we're going to pass in. Here's the URL, the URL, the URL we're going to pass into to the wget downloader. And let's just a quick little breakdown here. Download from teambrewer.com, download Linux, teambrewer, andy64.dev. And this should also work on, a, on an Intel 64 as well. And as, as you can see, it's going to be a, a .dev file. Okay. So this command will connect, will connect the server of the team viewer. We're going to connect to the server of the team viewer. So we're, you know, wherever this .dev file is hosted, that's where we're going to connect to. And then we're going to, you know, make a successful connection, download the .dev package to our download folder, and then we'll take it from there. And then we'll check it out once it's downloaded. Okay, download complete. Download uh, the team viewer .dev file saved. Okay, good. You see everything's good here. We downloaded it. Everything's fine and 100%. And this is saved. Where was it saved? Well, it was saved in the download folder. So let's go check it out there. So we'll clear that. We'll CD into the download folder. Clear it again. Do an LS, list uh, the, the contents. It's a fresh install I just did. So I've only got one, one uh, file in there. You can see the dot .deb right there. Okay. So we've got it installed. There it is where we would expect for it to be. Now to install it, we're going to execute. Now you could either, you could pass it into apt, dpackage, or kind of my favorite one these days is gdeb. You know, dpackage has this kind of reputation where it doesn't install dependencies that they're needed. So I don't know really why, why that, that even exists, to be honest. But I would either use apt or, or, or the gdeb. So we're going to go into a pseudo session. And I've got gdeb, which is a, uh, I guess it's a GNOME, I guess it would stand for GNOME dev installer. And it also gives you, it gives you, not only does it give you a, a, a command line interface, but once you install it from a, apt, you'll also have a, a, a GUI as well, which is right here. So you can use the, the GUI as well. But we're going to just do all, we're going to do things the Linux way. So we're going to stay in the terminal and we're going to pass that. We're, actually, hold on. Okay, I made a slight mistake. Yeah, I was looking, I didn't pay attention. This was no machine. It put the teamviewer.dev file actually into the home folder. Uh, yeah, okay, I was expecting it for it to be in the download folder. I wasn't using the browser. Maybe that's why it didn't put it into the download folder, whereas the browser would put it download folder. And uh, I, I'm not sure if there's – probably if I look in the documentation, you can figure out a way to change the default location for wget from the home into your download folder. But regardless, I used the move a command to move that, that .deb file from where it's at into the download folder. So it's in the download folder now. So this is the command I used for moving it. That way you don't have things scattered all over the place. You have your downloaded files in the download folder. Keep things kind of or, you know, organized. Let's clear this up. Let's CD back into the uh, download folder and do that ls command again. And okay, here it is. Okay, that's where we want it to be. Okay, now I'm going to go into a sudo session. I'm going to use the, the gdeb installer tool. I'm going to pass in the teamviewer.dev, just like that, pretty simple. I don't think you have to have any flags or anything like that with gdeb, like a dash i that I've seen with uh, dpackage, and not, not with apt, but I've seen with dpackage, it has to be a dash i flag in there. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to enter on that. It's going to install it. It tells you what dependencies are needed. And you can read through here, blah, 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 license, free for personal use. And it's and it, down here, it says, okay, do you want to install the software package? 
Is he going to install also the one that was missing, this lib, min, mini zip or whatever? Yeah, I don't see that there, but I think it's going to install that too. If it's required, it's going to resolve that dependency for you. So we're going to go yes on that. It's going to install the dot deb and, and the, uh, you can see right here, that dependency, that's good. The package probably wouldn't have done that for you. It would have faulted, it would have given you a prompt at the end, a summary saying that it couldn't go any further because this was not present, and you have to manually install it. Which usually you can get by by just, uh, you know, on a, on a Ubuntu-based system, Debian, whatever, you, you could just use APT, install, and, just, and, and install it manually. Not a big deal. But, hey, if, the system, if, if these installers can uh, resolve that for you, then that's, that's, that's pretty good. Okay, so that's been installed. So we're pretty much done with the download folder. Okay, let's clear that. Now let's go find it. Okay, so let's confirm it now. Okay, let's uh, let's look in the GUI first, into the application drawer here. There it is there. We'll come back to that. And then in the terminal, we can also launch it this way by just, just calling it like this. Just keying in Team Viewer and entering on that. And that should just launch the program. There, okay, there it is. You have to accept the EULA, the end user license agreement. So after we after we execute the, the command, the G, the GUI pops up, and the the, the app the program is launched, and then we're going to be prompted to to accept the uh, the license agreement. Okay. So we're going to click on that, and we're going to continue there. And there it is. I'm not sure why there's not a a maximize button there. I do have that turned on in my GNOME extensions set or the tweaks or whatever but okay so it's not there so we just have to use the uh, the, the double-headed arrows to resize it okay so that was launched you know from the uh, terminal but since that's not the preferred way for people to really want to launch things for the most part we'll kill that we'll clear that we'll minimize the terminal we'll go to the application drawer and we'll single click and open that and there it is again. Double arrow on the on the sides to resize it. Okay, since there's no maximize, I have to look into that. There should be one there. I think I have it on my browser, but I didn't. I'm not sure. I have to look into this my settings to do that. It's a new installation, so I haven't fine tuned it yet. Okay, here we go. So now you can log in. Right here, I think it is, or wherever the, uh, okay, yeah, sign in right here. You should sign in. You should go to the, the page first, create a free team viewer account, which I, I, I do have. And then log in here, and then here it is. And then, so this is where you're at on your side, your, your local side, and the remote side, wherever you, so yeah, if you're controlling, the, the the controlled computer you have to get some either you have to get it yourself or someone has to give it to you they give you the, the code this code right here on their end and you key it in and you connect in the same way this way if you want them to come in if, if you want someone to come into your road to your desktop you give this to them and they key that in into their on their end so they can control your computer that's pretty much about it um, yeah, it's a good one. Uh, it's, it's uh, you know, Team Viewers is, is, is uh, very much helpful, especially in the time period of a pandemic, you know, due to, you know, Corona and organizing, you know, virtual meetings and, and whatnot. It, was, it wasn't mentioned a lot. I know Zoom was mentioned a lot. Maybe Team Viewer didn't get a lot. Certainly Skype is pretty much gone, but yeah, Zoom got a lot of attention. But Team Viewer is good, too. But yeah, Zoom was the the big the, the big story during uh, you know the height of the of the uh, of the, 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 the coronavirus pandemic. So yeah, you know um, people can access computers this way, desktop and help and 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 I'm not sure if there's actually like where you could actually like you know see someone's face. I forgot. I think there was. I don't remember. I haven't used it for a while. Whereas Zoom, yeah, it's got screen sharing and video chat and all that. There's so there's some there's some things in there. Now they might. 
these some of these features might only be available with premium with a premium account, but just for standard basic remote desktop access, you can just you can just do what I what I just showed you to do, and you should be okay in that respect. And you have to connect, and there could be some issues, so you're gonna have to like you know go to the Team Viewer forums and find uh, Team Viewer uh, pages on Slack or in Facebook and uh, and whatnot or Reddit if you need to get some help. So yeah, things don't always work. Sometimes you have to you know make some make some adjustments and 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 dig into the, into the innards of things and and fix the connections. So. But yeah, that's that. That's th this right here is a basic installation video. So we got to this point. Hopefully, from here it'll work for you. Now, again, it's not. Res it, again, yeah, it wasn't available in the, uh, the official pop repos. So we downloaded the .dot depth package from from the uh, from the the Team Viewer website with the wget command line utility. Let me show that one more time here. Wget wget and curl are what you see a lot. Now there are some differences, but wget and curl, C U R L are the, are the big ones for downloading files from the terminal. Okay. So yeah, and then of course then you can you can use apt to install it or dpackage. I prefer gdeb to install it because it, like you saw, it resolved the dependencies for you. You don't have to go manually, you know, fishing around trying to install them yourself. Okay, so that's it. Um, uh, thank you for. So that that was uh, we we installed uh, the Team Viewer remote desktop program on Pop OS 2204. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to your comment, to your feedback and comments. Thank you.